In this lesson, we'll take a deeper look at the tech stack used to build StreamCat, a UGC live streaming application. If you're not familiar with the Donis JS and Alpine JS, this lesson will serve as an introduction to those frameworks and will prepare you to better understand some of the code shown in subsequent lessons. In lesson 1.1, we learned that StreamCat uses Adonis JS. Adonis JS is a full featured framework that provides routing, security, ORM functionality, and much more. Your application might use ExpressJS, a serverless architecture, or even a completely different framework based on another programming language. And that's great. The web is built on many technologies, frameworks, and languages, and you should use what you're most comfortable with to build your applications. Adonis JS should look very familiar to you if you've ever used an MVC framework to build an application. In fact, Adonis JS is heavily inspired by the PHP framework Laravel. So if you've used Laravel in the past, you should find it very familiar. Let's take a look at a basic endpoint. In this code, we're creating an HTTP endpoint for the path slash test that accepts get requests. The route handler declares a view parameter and the handler calls view.render, which accepts the name of a view template, test in this example, and passes a view model object containing a single property called name with the value Todd. The view engine used by Adonis JS is powered by a template engine called Edge. Edge uses a familiar bracket style for interpolating model variables. The view for the route that we just declared could look like this. Now that you're a bit more familiar with Adonis JS, let's talk about Alpine JS. Alpine JS is a lightweight but powerful framework for building reactive front ends. Because this course aims to reach a wide audience of developers, we intentionally avoid popular frameworks like React or Angular. You might use one of those frameworks, or no framework at all, to build your application. Again, that's awesome. Regardless of your preference, you should find Alpine.js easy to understand because it uses familiar constructs and reduces boilerplate. Here's an example of a view that counts and renders button clicks with Alpine.js. This view declares a div as an Alpine component via the xData directive, which contains a reference to a variable called model. The span renders the current value of clicks from the model, and the button calls a model function called add, which will increment the value of clicks when it is clicked. The component context is created via JavaScript. When Alpine.js is ready, indicated by the Alpine init event, we create our model via Alpine.data, declare the clicks variable, and define the behavior of the add function. With Alpine.js, we can avoid boilerplate calls to do things like add event listeners and reduce the complexity involved with managing variable state. In this lesson, you learned the very basics of Adonis.js and Alpine.js, the two frameworks used to build StreamCat. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at the features included in StreamCat.